the government. Recall that the government. Recall that the gradient slash slope. Recall that the gradient slash slope of a line in bracket M. Recall that the gradient slash slope in bracket M of a line is given by dy over the x. So of us, so look up, look up. Here's the idea. What you're doing is man here. You say take slope. We say slope is equal to what there? Change in the y, are we? On the water. That's the y dx. It's differentiation. That's the y dx. So we're saying that slope is also equal to m. So we say this man here is equal to slope m. Yeah? Now look at this. Look up. What is changing y? This man is equal to what there? Y2 minus y1 on the water. L2 minus the same concept here. Yeah? So this one now becomes y2 minus y1, that's this. All over this man here, yeah? that gives you x2 minus x1 is equal to m. So slope is equal to this. From here, I can simply cross multiply. This times 1 is itself. So I'm saying that y2 minus y1 is equal to this times this m into x2 minus x1. This is the equation of um, a straight line. Usually, you know it basically as being y equal to mx plus c. This is, this is it, basically. But in the case where I have two values of y, becomes y2 minus y1, that's the same thing here, is equal to m into x2 minus x1, assuming there is no intersect. So it becomes this, that's what you have here. So we are assuming that there is no intersect for now. You have, you have this. Where m is equal to, where m is equal to slope slash gradient of the tangent m. Okay, look up. Look up. Let me call this m1 per se. You have two m's here. Let me call this m1. Where m1 is equal to slope slash gradient of tangent. Alright. So please take this down. Note. Here's what to note, please. Note. Note. The gradient of the normal, note, gradient of the normal is M2 and M2 is the negative inverse of M1. Please don't forget, M2 is equal to negative inverse of M1. M2 is equal to negative inverse of M1 such that the equation of the normal the equation of the normal is given by y2 minus y1 is equal to M2 into x2 minus x1 so they are similar one is M1. The M1 is for tangent. This becomes equation of tangent. So it becomes equation of normal. We'll take just one example. I'll give you one for an assignment. Then we'll work on this.
sample problem one. Sample problem one says find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the line to the curve, right? To the curve, y equal to this. What is your z cover a line? Cover a line. Cover a line. So curve now. Remember equation. Line only happens for linear equation. So of course. Yes. Y equal to 2x plus 5. Linear equation to be a curve. For a quadratic, y equal to let's say x squared plus 2x plus 3. You have a parabolic curve. If you if this man here is positive, it will go this way. Have it? Yes. If this is negative, it will go this way now. This way. That's curve. Number three, if it's a cubic equation, let's say x cubed minus 2x squared plus 6x plus 3. It now becomes cubic. It will slope this way and this way. Something of this nature. That's it. So if I'm having a cubic equation, it has to be a curve. The problem is called a curve. We have to find the equation of the tangent and the normal. First of all, we said for this, let's get the y dx. For this, we we'll have that the gradient. The gradient of the tangent, please don't forget, m1 is tangent. You start with tangent first, not normal. Don't mix them. The first one there is tangent, not normal. So the gradient of the tangent, m1, what do we know? We know that the y all over the x is equal to m1, as we said. Let's get the y dx from here. Dy over dx is equal to differentiate this. What do I have here? 6x squared, yeah? Minus 2x, yeah? Plus 3. Constant is up. They give you a reference point. They said at 1, 0. And this stuff is very intentional. If I look at this, I have only values of x, not y. And don't forget, if I'm given a coordinate system, in this form, x, y. This one here is always x, and this is y. So if they give you this coordinate here, this one here is x. This one here is y. All right, so at x, this means that that is x is equal to one. If x is one here, I have that dy over dx is equal to six into x squared, x is one, becomes one squared minus two into x, x is 1, plus 3. Work this out, this gives you 6 minus 2, that's 4, plus 3, that's 7. So therefore, dy over dx, which is equal to m1, is equal to 7. Alright, dy dx, which is m1, is equal to 7. So therefore, equation of tangent equation of tangent which is said is y minus y1 is equal to n into x minus x1 because m1 here yeah, for tangent m1 so at at your coordinate 1 and 0 we said at this point that x1 is equal to this this is your x1 value and we said y1 is equal to 0. Put these conditions here. I will now have y minus this man here, 0, is equal to m, m1, which is this. That gives you 7 into x minus x1 is this one here. That's 1. So I have this. Work on this man here. I will have that y minus 0, y, is equal to 7 times x. 7x, 7 times minus 1, minus 7. This becomes the equation of the tangent. It's this simple. So get m, this becomes x1, x2 in this case. So I have this. That becomes the equation of tangent. Let's get for normal. Equation of normal. Don't forget, it's always tangent before normal. Now, what do we know? Listen, what do we know? We know that the normal slope, 
is equal to the negative inverse of the tangent slope. That means M2 becomes minus 1 all over M1. That's what there? 7. Alright. So I'll now be having the equation y minus y1, the same thing, is equal to, in this case, it becomes what there? M2 into x minus x1. This same condition applies. So at, uh, what's it called? At 1, 0, this same point, we have that y1 is this. I have that y1 is, sorry, how is x1? I have that x1 is 1 and y1 is 0. Substitute value. I'll have that y minus y1. y1 is 0. That's 0 is equal to m2. See the value of m2 here? Minus 1 over 7 into x minus x1. See the value of x1? That's 1. So look at this and this. Basically, they are the same thing there. So the only difference is just minus 1 all over this. That's all. That's the only difference there. So work this man out. I'll have... Um, I will have this as y minus 0 is y being equal to minus 1 into x minus 1 all over 7. Of course, this math goes to numerator, that simple math goes to numerator all over 7. Cross multiply, this one comes here, so it becomes this times this, 7 times y gives you 7y is equal to 1 times this is itself, so it becomes minus 1 into x minus 1. Expand this. I have 7y equal to this and this minus x. Minus minus plus 1 times 1, 1. Here's your answer. But it's not proper to have negative before positive. In case like this, just swap them. So I'll have that 7y is equal to this one first, 1, then this one here, minus x. That's proper form. That's how you solve this one here. So you should have tan and normal is easy. Just differentiate, put in values, and then record this. And that's all. Any questions, please?